Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of The Contractor Zone. What is up guys, I'm back with another one. I know I always make Chevy videos and they're always like bad videos, but this one, man, I can't stop staring at this truck. Let's take a look at that hood. I'm not a big fan of chrome wheels, but it don't look that bad. Look at this hood. Woo -hoo -hoo. This truck is clean. Look at this dash, no shine. But it's clean. Man, this is an 08 Chevy Silverado. This Chevy Silverado has 103,000 miles for an 08. That's not bad. Got that old Vortex engine in this one. There's actually nothing wrong with this vehicle. It came in for an oil change and that Takata airbag. You know I meant that Takata airbag. But look at this dash, no cracks. I'm not going to film this one because I was told, hey, can you just watch it with my truck and i will respect that and i'm not going to use one hand on this one so now i got the new airbag in i just want to say thanks for everybody in the comments that told me to push up on the bag so i can get this out that was a real big help thank you guys just so you know i'm listening the bag is in on this one here's the truck one more time and to the customer hey you got a nice truck man and for everybody else thank you for watching thanks for the support until the next one i'm out of here next I broke my tire. My tire is broken. Look at my tire. My tire is broken. Now I can't. Welcome back to the Customer States. Customer States, low fuel pressure codes. Guess who the customer is? It's right, Deer Firefighter 71. That's me. This is my personal machine. It's a 2011 John Deere 4720. John Deere engine, not the Yanmar. 66 horsepower. Some people are going to say, no, 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 they're only 60. The older ones were 60. This one is 66. That's crankshaft horsepower, not PTO. Anyway, this is the newest version. The newest version uses electronic uni pumps in the engine, as in the lift, the pumps that actually pump the injection pressure up to the, uh, to the injectors. Sorry, I'm not a professional speaker by any means. Anyway, I got a good deal on it. Tires are a little roached out, but ever since I got it, I was always having fuel pressure codes. I love the tracking. Air conditioned cab, uh, heated cab, obviously, stereo in it, whatnot. I use it for blowing snow. I do some light commercial snow blowing. Mow my lawn, blade, you know, blade my driveway. I'd, not just my lawn, I mow my pasture with it. I got a seven foot, uh, seven foot finishing mower. I also have a seven and a half foot dual auger snow blower for it. People said it's too big, but with hydrostatic, you can slow down. Anyway, I work on these things for a living. This thing has been kicking my ass for six years. Oh, sorry, five years. Anyway, I went through the fuel system front to back, not once, but twice. It took me almost five years to figure it out. How I figured it out, I pinched off the return fuel line, which is way up in here, and monitored the fuel pressure. After doing that, the fuel pressure came up, and I, I milked it out for a while. I actually pinched the line off and ran it, and it was running great. The problem is, eventually, the, uh, the, uh, the rubber fuel line will blow out. Well, when that happens, you get a fuel leak, low fuel pressure. Anyway. That being said, all the fuel system was brand new on it. I finally went into it and I, I finally decided I knew what it was. It was the electronic uni pumps. These have one individual injection pump for each cylinder. They're inside the engine. So you have to pull the whole thing apart. It's a big job. It's expensive. It's about 2,500 bucks my cost. My cost. Dealer cost. So that's a big chunk of change out of my own pocket. But after Five years of cussing and swearing very nicely at myself, I decided I needed to get it done. Anyway, I finally got it done. Mm -hmm. This baby pops right off. It used to crank for 15 to 20 seconds, even on a 70 degree day. Now it pops right off, even when it's, uh, it's about 40 degrees out here in northern Minnesota. Anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody likes my video. My, uh, my loss is other people's gains. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to send us your own pictures and videos using the link in the description below. If you haven't done it yet, we invite you to like this video and subscribe, as this helps us a lot to keep bringing new content.